MDL is known for manufacturing high-speed laser measurement and surveying systems for use in extreme environments. At Spar International 2012, the company launched several technologies that promised to bring further disruption to the scanning market. One of these was the MDL DynaScan HD100 system, which uses an off-the-shelf Faro Focus 3D phase scanner with a DynaScan pod device to allow users to perform mobile surveying tasks at speeds up to 70 miles an hour with a 300-degree field of view. Steve Ball, founder and president of MDL, demonstrated how easy the system was to convert from stationary to mobile and also shared details about the new system. Steve, I'm just wondering what's been going on lately at MDL? Tell me some of the latest developments. Okay, part of the development is to actually um, basically democratize mobile mapping. Many people in the small survey outfits probably think that mobile mapping is out of their reach. We've actually proving today that it's not. We've taken a standard Faro Focus high definition scanner and we bolted it onto one of our standard Dynapods which contains an IMU and a GNSS system. All the hardware needed to convert that standard focus into a mobile mapper. It's a highly um, um, high performance piece of equipment, high definition. Uh, and as you saw from the earlier video, it took less than a minute to convert the product and back again. So this device will allow people to do conventional terrestrial surveying and then immediately adapt it, drive off and do mobile surveying. So the two are highly complementary. I happen to believe that mobile mapping is going, mobile mapping and terrestrial mapping will merge as a technology. There is no reason for the technologies to be separate or indeed operated by separate companies. Sure, and obviously one of the strengths of this equipment is its flexibility. Correct, correct. Flexibility, uh, most of the mobile mapping systems designed to date are really big systems. They're very expensive. They often require purpose-built trucks. They're heavy, not easily transportable. All of this equipment that we design is rugged. It's basically air transportable, carry-on baggage even. And that means that we can go and do smaller jobs and still make money. And what about in terms of accuracy? I mean, does this compete with some of the bigger mobile mapping systems? Well, it, we, we all know that the Faro accuracy is in, already incredibly good. It, it, it's typically one to two millimeters in range, thousandth of a degree in angle accuracy, which it means it's an order of magnitude higher performance than all the existing uh, mobile mapping systems. Of course, at the end of the day, the position of a cross-section measured by a mobile mapper is only as good as the GNSS IMU, and this technology is pretty much the same for all the people. It's, it's of the order of one sigma about one to two centimeters and three sigma uh, five to ten. So that's going to, going to govern the geographical accuracy of the mobile mapper. But in terms of the relative scan performance, this is probably the highest performing system on the market today. It is short range, it is a phase, and therefore it's probably going to be a, phase, a fair weather system. But we, we don't see this as detracting from our other product range, which, as you see behind us, is covering ranges up to 500 meters with the same technology in all weathers. What about in terms of cost? I know that you know the Faro scanner obviously was very disruptive when it came out. Yes. Well, what we've done here is that we've brought uh, a new price point to mobile mapping. Uh, a combined Faro scanner, MDL DynaScan, total all-inclusive price, software, computers, hardware, everything you need is $150,000. You can actually buy, if you already own a Faro scanner, you can actually buy the MDL pod for $115,000. And, uh, and 100,000 these days, 115,000 these days, is not a big amount of money when you consider that mobile mapping rates are typically $1,000 a mile. Very impressive, thank you, Steve. Thank you, bye-bye.